All right. We've got some Morimoto fog lights that are going in. These that are way. the, what are these called again? The X, XB or something? Yeah. XB fog lights? Oh, XB LED fog lights. Look at those, nice and clean, huh? It's cool. And they're very shallow mount. Don't have a bulb sticking out the back, so it's not gonna hit my uh, intercooler piping. This has the two leads here. You just stick them in the connector and uh, plug it in. You know, aim and screw, and that's it. Bolt it up, plug and play. Don't do any wiring, none of that shit, no splicing, no T taps. No, nothing. None no. of that crap. So, the problem he's been having, if you, you look at his stock bulbs, you know, you know those fancy bulbs with the fans and all that stuff to stick out the back? Well, it hits this little bypass, bypass valve. valve. Ah, I knew that, man. I was just seeing if you knew. And they, would, <laughs> they would fit in there, but they would be snug. Yeah. But then every time I would get on the gas, I'm guessing the piping would move a little bit. Oh, I could hear it rubbing on the back of the fog light bulb. And then when we went and did the autocross, I came home and the fog light bulb was ripped out of the back of the housing oh. and just laying on, laying inside there. So so that's why we upgraded to these. Yep. And then so what we're going to do, we're going to wrap that, wrap these in clear vinyl. Um, if you know, fog lights are exposed to the elements, yep. especially rock chips, whatever. So you have some it. 3M uh, Scotchgard Pro clear bra that we're just going to wrap it with. Protect it a little bit and keep it from getting chipped from rocks and all that stuff. Yeah. Because so. if not, it will. Oh yeah, definitely. All right, let's do this. All right. Real tight. Real tight. Just like that. Oh, dude, look. Boom. All in one go. I'm pretty sure that with this 3M clear raw material, you're supposed to do a wet application, but we don't feel like doing that. Yeah. And I don't think it's really necessary here. So since we're, we can stretch it, we can get, all, because we're only wrapping right here at the edge of the glass. And we are able to stretch out any of the wrinkles that do get in it. And we can stretch out all these wrinkles like that. Just gonna stick that down around the edges. And we're gonna the knife out. And now, the excess. Yep. We're just gonna go right on the edge of the glass here. And just trim out the excess. And this stuff is really thick too. Very, very thick. <laughs> Even though this is a brand new razor and it's <laughs> still not wanting to cut all the way through. Mm -hmm. Stuff is probably three times as thick as a normal like a vinyl wrap. And it's very strong too. Well that's a good thing, I guess. Yep. <laughs> so now that we got that cut, we'll just peel off the excess. Now let's take a little bit of heat in the squeegee and just kind of squeegee this all down around the edges. Yeah. But still, you don't want dirt and stuff getting in between, so get yep. down as much as you can. You don't want to pee on or not, stuff, so just... Denzel will be proud. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what'd you do now, man? All right, just pulled the fog, the stock fog out of there. <laughs> pulled the, the what? Fog, the fog <laughs> it was just in here, like that. There's two screws on the side. Pull them out, it just hinges out. Easy so days. Going back in the same way, maybe. Yep, just a little snug in there. These are the two screws you pulled out. Back in these holes right over here. Is it the, the factory screws you're using? Yep. I have no idea what this was for, where it came from. What was that? I have no idea. <laughs> Dude, look at the difference between the two. Holy shit. That's stock. That's the Morimoto. Much better looking. I thought this one feels like it's just plastic housing. Dude, doesn't the stock one feel cheap as shit though? Oh, it feels very cheap. Dude, look at that. Oh well. <laughs> so you make sure it's right side up. Let's get those two tabs. And there you go, that's it. Yep. And I'm assuming you could probably do this without taking off your bumper. Just pop the pop the side of the bumper out over here. Yep. Or even do it from the bottom. Just pull the little flap down. I don't think there's any need to pull the bumper all the way off. Just to do these. But we did because. Yeah, we we're doing the grills anyway. So why not? Yep. So yep. match the red or the positive and negative to the factory wiring. Yep. And I'll just push in and click in like that. Clicked in. 
the black one. Just like that, you got a little click. It's in good. And your character's ready to be plugged in. Cool. So black to black, red to? Red to white. Red to white. Good to go. Yep. Let's move it up as close as we can. We'll plug it in. And then we'll test it out. Yep. Boom, there you go. It's on. All right, so what we did now, we're just gonna aim them. Um, looks like it's just off just a little bit. And uh, we're just gonna take the adjustment screws in the back and just aim them appropriately. Does it move? Should point them up. To aim blind them all people. Way. To blame people. <laughs> Fuck them. Look at that. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh, no. <laughs> that was not that much more <laughs> Not that much. Yeah. And here's a video with just the projectors, not the projectors, with just the LED fog lights on. Everything else is off. And as you can see, that's the light output. It is aimed a little bit low, but that's how I want them. And they are a nice, crisp, clear, white light. Those are the headlights. Headlights on, fogs off. Fogs are on, fogs are off. So it looks like it does make a little bit of difference um, right in front of you. And there you go. Morimoto LED fog lights. Currently installed. <laughs>